In this demonstration, we will show the tools provided by 40EDR to manage false positive events. For any new inconclusive alerts, 40EDR runs numerous analysis tools on its Fortinet Cloud Services or FCS security engine. In case that the event is found to be a false positive, its classification is changed to safe. And the appropriate exception is automatically set to make sure that this false positive will not trigger again. Then the alert is archived, again automatically. You can see a digest of 40 EDR cloud services analysis in the handling comment for this event, or explore the full investigative steps as well, as we'll see in our next example. In some cases, the decision about whether to allow the activity depends on the organization's policy, as we can see in this example. What we see here is a potentially unwanted program, TeamViewer, that triggered an alert. In the automated analysis section, powered by our XDR engine, we get further visibility and context to the event. Here we can see that this file was executed manually by John. The file is legitimately signed by TeamViewer and no malicious indicators were found when running in the sandbox. Usage statistics are also displayed. In this case, we can see that the application is being used in the environment elsewhere and that 20 connections were established to the same known good IP address at the time of the event. After reviewing this informative detail, let's say that the user decides to allow TeamViewer. In that case, he or she can manually classify it as safe, set the appropriate exception, and archive. Exceptions can be very pinpointed and can be applied on specific collector groups, destinations, or users, and they only apply to the rule that triggered that event. Wildcards can also be used on the process name or path for better exception management. And even finer granularity is available by selecting the specific parent process that is exclusively allowed to run the application. Exceptions on scripting tools have additional options, such as selecting the specific scripts that would be allowed to execute by, for example, PowerShell or Python. And all of the exceptions can be reviewed and edited here from the Exception Manager page. Another option worth noting is to avoid the event triggering altogether is by excluding a known-to-be-good process from 40 EDR monitoring. When doing so, that known-to-be-good process will not generate any events.